I'm scared shitless about not having enough time to do my creative crap. I have a full-time day job, wife, two kids. I like to whack off. I also want to keep at my writing. I'm working on a damn novel that's been taking me forever. And these videos and a podcast that's currently with my wife about marital issues. How am I going to do all that? Well, I'm a list maker and a scheduler, but I figured out that over-organizing and over-scheduling and over-list making can really screw up a creative project. But still, no organization seems to be a problem too. So here's how I've handled it, in case it's useful for you. I do something called a creative sprint. Quick footnote is that I'm stealing some terms and concepts from agile software development, but I'm intentionally using them a little bit differently to suit my needs, so please don't send me a note saying I don't understand agile. I mean, that's true too, but I'm also intentionally misusing the terms. I break down my creative projects into sprints, which are monthly periods of getting work done. I have a special simple list for this month's sprint. Some of the line items are big tasks, some are small, but the key is for me to break them down to the right level where I can act on them. In some cases, I know the drill and I don't have to be too detailed. Other cases, I have to be detailed. But the idea is that I have about 20 things that I want to get done this month. Now, whenever something comes up and I feel like, ah, I don't have time to do it this month, or I don't want to do it this month, but I want to do it, I put it in something called a backlog. And that's where I just accumulate little things I want to do later. And I break them into categories. You know, the I want to separate my podcasts and videos from my writing tasks. So I have a few different backlogs for different categories. Every day I kind of review my list of sprint items to make sure they're still relevant. If they're not, I dump them. If I need to add something, I add something. If a new idea comes up but I don't want to do it this month, I put it in the backlog. At the end of the month, I look at how well I did. I don't do any kind of like fancy pants statistic about it. I just kind of gut instinct decide, did I overshoot or undershoot in the different categories? And I try to adjust the next month to be a little more accurate. When it comes down to the end of the month and I assess, I pull stuff from the backlog to make the new list. I also look through the backlog and kill stuff that I know is either obsolete or just bullshit. Things I know I won't really get to. That's it. Not too much planning. But now I don't go sit at my desk during those moments I have time to do stuff and think, what am I up to? Because I already have the list.